As far as what to expect, a political climate in Curaçao, uh, in the year that I was there, we went through three different prime ministers. So it was a, a high rate of turnover, and we went from a very pro-American prime minister to one that was uh, really more preoccupied with his country, uh, slightly nationalistic, but wanting to get the country back on the feet, to one that ran on an openly anti-American and anti-European uh, policy. How I had to deal with each one was ex extremely different, and uh, the tone that I used and the tact that I took going into any conversation uh, varied uh, depending upon those individuals and their political backgrounds. The importance of understanding who you're working with, uh, the host nation there in Curaçao, is, uh, is pretty important. Uh, Curaçao in itself does not have a military. They rely on the Dutch, the Kingdom of the Netherlands, to provide defense. So when you meet someone, and if it's the Coast Guard or um, the Marines, they will be Dutch. There's a conscript force, however, that provides a lot of uh, of the enlisted ranks and a lot of enlisted labors, uh, and they will be locals. Um, your, most of your dealings will be with the, the Dutch military, um, but often um, you just need to have an awareness about you that uh, their expectations uh, or what you can expect from them is quite a bit different and their uniforms are different as well.